In this video, we're going to take a look at filtering in Messenger or in Facebook.com slash messages, which is where I am here, which looks almost identical to Messenger, and also in the quick chat area, which we'll take a look at momentarily. You can filter what you're seeing. So you already know you can search Messenger. Like if I want to find like just this first comment there, maybe she's further down, I can search for Mullen and I can find people in there with that, right? But with our extension, you can search other things. <clears throat> so, for example, I have people labeled GMCRM customers and GRMCM partners. So maybe I just want to look for all my GMCRM people. So I type that there and I hit enter. And now you can see everything in my list. It'll scroll down for a moment um, and look for people, but it'll stop and pause and give you a chance to interact with things like that. But now I can see all those. Maybe I only want to see partners. I can just put space P to get partners and now you can see I'm filtered by partners okay and there are additional filters as well for example maybe I want to look at GMC or in partners who I sent the last message to meaning maybe I'm waiting on a response from them and I need to do a follow-up so I can search in that label and then I can put sent by me now see you 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 I'm the last one to have sent the message or maybe I want to make sure I didn't miss any responses and I can hit not by you. These are where they've sent the last response. So uh, perhaps they're waiting on an answer for me and I want to make sure I haven't missed anybody's communication. And uh, this one's not fully tested, uh, but we have an unread. And these are people who have not uh, read the message, the last message, whether it's me uh, that sent it or it's them. It's, it hasn't been marked read. Okay, and then you can hit the select. You can go back up to the top and hit the uh, select you or not you unread and it'll just go back to what was up here. Okay, so uh, let's clear that out, all right? And we'll look at some other filter options. Um, one thing you can do is you can select unlabeled, okay? You wanna go down and see, maybe you wanna skip down and, you know, hey, is there anybody here that I have not, like this person should be labeled. Um, I think I have a label for them, family, okay? So um, you can go down real quick and find people that you think uh, you may have missed, and you can do that. Or if you just want to work with your unlabeled, that's fine. Okay. Um, and whoops, sorry. You can uh, also do tags. We have tags. Uh, when you click tags here, okay, you can, you have to scroll to see them. It's a small window because we have a small CSS box and we can't really make that bigger at the moment. Uh, we are working on that, but you can scroll through here and maybe you can say, hey, I only want to see people with this tag, uh, you know, or, or something like that. So you can search by tags as well, okay? And you can also exclude what was selected. So maybe I want to see everything but not people marked GM CRM. I can click please exclude Oops, I have to hit enter first. And please exclude. Now you'll see there are no GM CRM tags up there. Okay, let me get rid of that. And um, those are in the more filters. So that's how you filter. So you can search by labels. You can search by tags. Now you can search by labels and tags, GM CRM, and then filter those by, whoops, I have to get rid of the please exclude. There we go. So now we're in all GM CRM. And maybe I want to see people that are GM CRM and also have, actually, none of these probably have tags. Let's see if I've got, yeah, I'm not going to find any there, but it'll find people. Oh, I have that one. You can do multiple tags, by the way. You could say, show me someone with annual uh, or outdoorsy, okay? But um, I don't think I have my GM CRM people tagged, not most of them. So... But you can. You can do a, do a label up here and then further filter it by tags down there. Okay, and then you can do the same thing. Let's go to Facebook. You can do the same thing in the quick chat area over here. Um, and you see it's the exact same search thing. You've got your more filters up here. You've got search labels. You can exclude labels. And you can do exactly the same uh, filtering over here. And that way, if you want to work with a particular label or a particular tag or you want to, one thing I really like is this, is this me or not me. I can find out if I'm waiting on answers. I can do follow-ups easily. Or if I missed something and I can catch up to it real quick. 
um, I found those to be very valuable. So uh, hopefully you'll get lots of use out of the filters. Take care.